Quarter 2, Week 5, Lesson 5. Revised K-12 Curriculum, Lesson Exemplar Based. Our topic is Add and Subtract Decimal Numbers. Our learning competencies are to add and subtract decimal numbers with decimal parts of up to three decimal places and solve multi-step problems involving addition and or subtraction of decimals including problems involving money. For our day one, adding and subtracting decimals. As for our review, how do we add whole numbers? We add whole numbers by combining two or more numbers having the same place value to get the total. How do we subtract whole numbers? We subtract whole numbers by getting the difference between numbers having the same place value. What do we do when we add or subtract whole numbers without regrouping? To add or subtract numbers without regrouping, we have the following steps. Align the digits according to place value and add or subtract from right to left according to place value. What do we do when we add or subtract whole numbers with regrouping? To add or subtract numbers with regrouping, we have the following steps. First, align the digits according to place value. Next, add or subtract from right to left according to place value. And lastly, regroup if needed. Now let's perform the indicated operation. Letter A, 251 plus 412 equals we will add the numbers with the same place value. So we have 1 and 2, 5 and 1, 2 and 4. The total is 663. Because 1 plus 2 equals 3, 5 plus 1 equals 6, and 2 plus 4 equals 6. Letter B, 8,796. Minus 6,372, that is equal to numbers with the same place value shall be subtracted. 6 minus 2, 9 minus 7, 7 minus 3, and 8 minus 6. And that will give us 2,424. Since 6 minus 2 equals 4, 9 minus 7 equals 2, 7 minus 3. 3 equals 4, and 8 minus 6 equals 2. For letter C, we have 4, we have 4,623 plus 3,576. So our answer, 3 plus 6 equals 9, 2 plus 7 equals 9, and 6 plus 5 equals 11. So since it's 11, we have to regroup. We cannot write 11 at the same time in this area. So we have to carry the other one at the top of 4. Uh, let's add 1 plus 4 plus 3 will have 8. That's actually regrouping. We remain or write the 1s for 11 since we have 11 one ones and one tens the tens place value is added to the next set of place value so our answer is 8199 for letter d we have 2312 minus 1643 okay so let's start from right two minus three cannot be so we have to regroup and we usually call it as borrowing. So regroup. We will borrow from 1. So it's actually the 10th place. So we will borrow 10 from this portion. And that 10 will be added to 2. So 2 will become 12. 
and one becomes zero. At this point, we'll have already 12, so 12 can be subtracted by 3 because it's bigger or greater than 3. 12 minus 3 equals 9. Now this time we have 0 minus 4 cannot be because 0 is less than 4. So we have to borrow or regroup again. So we have to borrow 1 from 3. It becomes 2. It's actually adding 10 to the borrowing number. So 0 becomes 10. So 10 minus 4 equals 6. And then we have... 2 minus 6 cannot be again because 2 is less than 6. So we have to borrow from 2. So we just have to subtract 1 from 2. Then the remaining is 1. And then we will add 10 to 2. That will make it 12. So 12 minus 6 equals 6. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1, 0 is on the leftmost part. There is no need for us to write zero because it's insignificant already. It's not that important to write zero on the leftmost part. So our answer is 669. Now let's read the problem. Arita paid 25 pesos and 75 cents for a notebook and 12 pesos and 50 cents for a ball pen. How much money did Rita spend in all? To solve the problem, we need to get the sum of the costs of the notebook and the ball pen. However, the values given involve decimals. To add decimals, simply align the place values of the numbers and then add. So we have 25 pesos and 25 cents plus 12 pesos and 50 cents. So take note, the decimal places should be aligned. Then let's add. 5 plus 0 equals, then let's add, the answer will give us 37 pesos and 75 cents. That is 5 plus 0 equals 5, 2 plus 5 equals 7, the decimal point, and then 5 plus 2 equals 7, then 3 plus 1 equals 3. The inverse or opposite process of addition is subtraction. We even use subtraction to use if our sum is correct. If Rita was given exactly 68 pesos and 75 cents by her mother to buy those school supplies, how much money was left? What do we do? To solve for the amount of money left, we need to get the difference of the money Rita has initially and total cost of the school supplies she bought. That means we have to subtract from 68 pesos and 75 cents the amount spent for school supplies, which is 37 pesos and 75 cents. Now, 68.75 minus 37.75, that is equal to 31 pesos. From 5 minus 5 equals 0, 7 minus 7 equals 0. And the decimal point, 8 minus 7 equals 1, and 6 minus 3 equals 3. And the amount of money left is 31 pesos. Now let's perform some more. Let's add 45 and 123 thousands plus 12 and 4 tenths. So what do we do when that happens or in that case? Just annex or put zeros on the place values with no numbers. So notice that the thousands place is missing. So just like what we did before, just put zero. Okay. So we have seven minus zero equals seven. 9 minus 8 equals 1, 8 minus 7 equals 1, and then copy the decimal point. Do not forget that they should be aligned. And then 2 minus 1 equals 1, 5 minus 4 equals 1, and lastly 6 minus 3 equals 3. 
and proceed to performing the indicated operation. So this time we will add 3 plus 0 equals 3, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 1 plus 4 equals 5, and then the decimal point, then 5 plus 2 equals 7, and lastly 4 plus 1 equals 5. So 45 and 123 thousands plus 12 and 4 tenths or 12 and 4 thousands equals 57 and 523 thousands. Now let's subtract 652 and 897 thousands minus 341 and 78 hundreds. So our difference is equal to 311 and 117 thousands. Again, difference is the answer or the term for the answer for subtraction. Now for our work example, do the indicated operation. So you have number 1, 10, and 25 hundreds plus 0 and 23 hundreds. The number 2, you have 234 and 12 hundreds plus 24 and 6 tenths. Number 3, 1,879 and 67 hundreds subtracted by 76 and 5 tenths. And now for our lesson activity, add or subtract the following. Thank you for watching once again, your guide towards learning, Teacher ITV. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep updated.